Welcome back, ladies and gents. My name is Dan Before Time, and we are back in some No Man's Skis. Ugh. <laughs> That's way too early for that. All right, back in No Man's Sky. Had a little break. If you saw episode 14, which only 89 of you did, fix that. <laughs> You'd know that it was a tough episode to get recorded. And took a break from No Man's Sky after for a little bit. <laughs> so, we're back, and now we're going to get back on this path. A leap in the dark. Activate a portal. Kind of hype about that. Signal flares erupted all over the surface of this planet when the Sentinels attacked. If I trace them, I might uncover the secret of the portal. So that's what we're going to do right now. Hopefully it goes smoother than episode 14 so we can get this show on the road. You guys may have seen my uh, Planet Zoo video that I did. Um, I'm genuinely excited for that game. And the cool folks at Frontier hooked me up with a code for Jurassic World Evolution so I could get my feet wet a little bit with the game system. So, uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe not, but maybe soon we're going to play some Jurassic World Evolution, so I'm looking forward to some dinos. Leyline Source. Shall we do this? Let's do this. Alright, feels good to be back in some No Man's Sky this morning. Gotta be honest with you. So, uh, about that Astroneer thing that I said I'd be doing. Um, I tried to play it and I actually recorded an episode. So the thing is, um, I, I don't like it. I, I just don't like the game. I wasn't having any fun, uh, so sorry about that. I'm not going to be playing Astroneer on the channel because it's all about, if I'm not having fun, I mean, really, what's the point? It's going to suck for you guys. I just, I didn't enjoy it. I, I like having story to riff off of and be, be dumb about, and that wasn't giving me... I just, it's not a game for me. It's not a bad game. I see the appeal, but it's not a game for me. So, we're gonna move, we're gonna move on past Astroneer. Love you guys still. <clears throat> Traveler. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of Senta... <laughs> yes? Senta? Sentina? <laughs> I guess we're cut off there. Perhaps some gateway through which I'll find Artemis. But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story, a vision, it's already burning itself into my eyes. Ugh. Activate. I mean, we might as well get our redness burnt. The Traveler Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos, they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvex could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal. Though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. Witness. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind. Part of the code. I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves quickly away. Escape or destroy the sentinels. I'm going to go ahead and go escape on that. If you guys saw the last episode, said, you know, uh, not so great at destroying the Sentinels. Okay, follow the portal ley lines. How? Ley line link detected. Is it off planet? Off planet. All right. Let it go. Ley line source, give me that portal, please. Leyline Source! Give me that portal, please! <laughs> the coffee's starting to kick in, guys. We might be in trouble. Alright, slow it down. Bring it in for a nice, gentle landing. I like the look of this planet. I'm partial to it. Let's see how cold it is out here. Um... Uh, unending sunlight? Did you guys see that? <laughs> Definitely looks unending to me. Uh, cool. Let's check out this. Legacy of Kemi Puel. Puel! <laughs> the 
something is imminent. As I approach the structure, I feel the same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I'm more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Activate the Traveler Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Ooh. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life, they did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered, 18446744737095516 planets. 18 quintillion. Sean was not lying. <laughs> Sean wasn't lying. Stop being so cynical, guys. <laughs> it literally says right there. More than could be seen in any lifetime, it was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. Witness them glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet, is, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Alright, are we escaping sense this time? Are we escaping the sentinels? What are we doing? What are we doing, game? Perform another scan. Perform a scan. I should probably get some O2, huh? I should probably grab some O2 and then go back into space. Space! I guess the sentinels don't care on this planet. They're like, nah, this planet is uh, pretty desolate. We don't give a shit. This game is fun. I really like playing this game. Minus the 14th episode. That was a that was a grind and not a fun way. Um, let's see, is there anything here that I can steal? Phosphorus? Magnetized ferrite. Oh, my baby. You guys know I like copper. You know what, I'm gonna stay focused. We'll stay focused. That's, that's what got us in trouble last time. And for, is that, is that on planet? It is on planet. Sweet! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No. Of course there isn't. Let's see if I can make it without getting out of the ship. Feeling pretty. Uh, it's dihydrogen. You know what? I was just thinking when I walked past all this. Look at this. That's YouTuber luck right there. I was just thinking I should collect it because we're probably running low in launch fuel. Sean, dear Sean, I wouldn't be mad if you made launch fuel completely irrelevant and you just let us have launch fuel like the rest of the ship always seems to have fuel anyway. It doesn't make sense. Consistency, Sean. Love you. Thanks. Bye. Sincerely, DBT. I mean, I get, I get the, I get fueling the hyperdrive. I really do. But this ship that we're in never, literally, never needs to be refueled. It's only the launch thrusters. It doesn't make sense. Thank you. Look at this vista. See, the launch thrusters piss me off, and then we get something like this with the rings. And I love you, Sean. I really do. Just the launch thrusters suck. I hate them with all of my being. We overshot the landing just a little bit there, but it's okay. Oh, this game is pretty. This game is so pretty. All right, let, ooh, look at this. This is cool. I always like to look at these these ones. So let's let's get this done. Oh, knowledge stones, I love you. Memor <laughs> Memories of Muta. Uh, yep, no need to read that. Everything here is tinted with that same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. If the tra the traveler a purpose. The Atlas told the traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. Sounds nice sometimes. 
The first traveler rejected the gift of the atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see all of it, if you were alone, if you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. Sounds extremely human of them. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it will be for travelers to witness witness the glyphs, baby. I'm filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. <laughs> Ooh. Well. That doesn't suck either. Okay. Can I get these Can I get these words though? Help. Unknown. What's that? This last one. Interpreter learned 30 words. Get rid of the transition, please. Thank y'all. Okay. Now. What are we doing? Is it gonna be on this planet? I'm kind of excited. Let's make some units. We forgot about the forgot about our true purpose here. Is to be a space capitalist. Hello, little thing. Your your face is ugly. All right. Okay. Let's focus. Let's focus up. C. We are on planet. Let's go. We're gonna have to do a a space a space tuck and roll. <laughs> get up to get down. Know what I mean? Leyline source arriving in 22 seconds. We at the Leyline source. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really on one today. I am really on one today. I love, I love playing this game. <laughs> it's so fun to do a let's play this game. I don't know why, because the game is like, just, it's, it's so good, but it's just, just janky enough. <gasps> Portal. We found our first portal. We found our first portal. It's been so long. And we're on the dark side. Oh my, look at that. I mean, it is as if it was made for, it was made for our thumbnail. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm pretty, pretty excited about what's gonna happen now. Cause I've never, time for truth. I've never activated a portal in No Man's Sky. I quit before that, and never came back until next, and I never found one in next because this dropped shortly after I started playing. I wish it was daytime, kind of, so I could take a snapshot, a snappy, a little snappy. <laughs> I seriously don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, dreams of Lumprifia. Ooh, Traveler Anomaly Confirmed. Breach. I approach the portal, I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway I might find Artemis, I might find the source of the Sentinels, I might find a whole new universe, but it is more than this. This is not fate, I am making a choice, a leap of faith, that somewhere out there in the dark I will find who I am meant to be. Input them glyphs. Step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. I love the writing in this game, I really do. This will be the start of everything. Ooh, fancy. Oh. Oh, that's good. Time for screenshots! Okay, guys, I guess we walked through the portal, huh? You ready for this? We've come so far together. I feel like this is a big moment for everyone. Let's go. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm so excited right now. On the other side is probably gonna be more space. <laughs> it's probably gonna be so anti anticlimactic. Okay. Well. Warning. Hostile system. 
hostile system. Okay, that's good news for us. Uh, what do I do now? Atlas protocol initiated. Okay, some 16s. Some 16s. Let me scan some stuff and make some money, even though I'm about to die, I feel. What's going on? What do I do? Uh, okay. And we're in the Atlas. Cool. All right. All right. I'm. I'm. I, I fucks with it. Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The Atlas is asking for terrain variation. Sean, even, with <laughs> even within your own game. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Ask who this... Say hello or ask who this is. I'm going to say hi because who is it? It's just... It's everybody, obviously. I mean, I, I can read between the lines. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. We already did, we already did this dance. We were once travelers. We, yeah, yeah, I get it. We just, we just did it. We literally just did it. Shh. Um. Oh gosh, come on, game. Wipe the system. Let's just perform the diagnostics. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. 64% of the world's operating within expected parameters. Okay, null value, class, 4,182 breach attempts. Exo mine structural integrity compromised. Immediate repairs required. That's not a good sign. Initiate personal interface. Initiate personality interface. Yeah. I'm all about the curiosity. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... <sighs> Do I, I mean, when you're, listen, let's break it down. Let's stop for a second. Let's, let's slow down for a second. If you're in this situation, if we're in this situation, we've traveled through space and time. We've uncovered a portal maintained by some sentinel energy force. We're here in front of a pulsating blob of red energy. Is there anything to do other than submit? I mean, run all of that back. We've done all of this. We, we've we dealt with the janky base building in this universe. <laughs> if I was going to scream, I would have done it already. Rejoice? I'm a little too much of a skeptic to rejoice. So we're just going to say, we're going to throw up our hands and be like, you know what? We're here. Let's ride the wave, baby. <laughs> I try to submit, but it's too late for that. Far too late. I belong to this creature my entire life. Okay, so I had already submitted. Cool, thanks for that. This, thanks for the mind games. <laughs> uh, that's it? Uh... 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 We're in a new system? Okay. Do I have to... Re I'm baffled right now. Okay. Baffled. 
locate and board my starship. I mean, it's pretty. Am I... Am I... So I'm not in Euclid anymore. We're not in Euclid anymore, Toto. <laughs> I'll I'll show myself out. Uh, I better have all my stuff still. Do I have all my stuff still? I do. Cool. All right. We're good. We're good. Freak out. Freak out. Avoided. This is pretty. Pretty. Oh, that's cool. I've not really seen these structures before. Why is my starship so far away, though? Listen, Ninja Turtles, I don't want any... Or, or rather, you don't want any of this bolt caster. Alright, cool. Are we doing the whole, uh... Are we doing the whole... Radiant Pillar is broken again? I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has this portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? <sighs> because I can, baby! I like that. I tell myself that I do all of this because I can, that I don't really care about Artemis or the Sentinels. I didn't say that I don't care about Artemis. Settle down. I don't care about the Sentinels because they're assholes. Perhaps that is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. That's not exactly... Settle down. You gave me a fraction of a sentence to decide. That's not exactly what I meant, game. I don't appreciate you putting words in my mouth. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. Answer the communication. Artemis is pissed, guaranteed. I'm not alone. We've done this dance before. End transmission. Okay, so is it Artemis? Maybe. Is it not? Repair my ship. Okay, we're doing this whole dance again. Cool. So, let's get out. So does that mean I can't go back to my base now? Or I can at any point? And it doesn't matter. I guess we'll find out together. More sods. Corvax casing. Okay. Damaged machinery. Let me see what's in here. <clears throat> chromatic metal. Do I need that? I probably need it. Distress beacon. There we go. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 60 to empty. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant, position logged, system integrity scan initialized. Oh, repair my shit. Yeah, let's figure that out first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Just ferrite? Just ferrite? Alright. Well, I mean. Okay. Um, so, we go starship. Launch thrusta. There we go. All right, now, to the system, to the signal, to the signal, we go. I don't care about that damaged machinery. Let it do what it do. So let's find the signal, and then we'll probably wrap this episode up, because we've got, this is, this is, uh, this has been a fun episode, man. All kinds of stuff going on. All right, we got an incoming firestorm because of course we do. Let's set it down here. And see what we got. See if we can avoid the majority of this storm. Ooh. Artemis. Oh, dude, our but our boy died. This is sad. Rip. I approach the source of the signal, a hologram appears, it's Artemis, but there's only silence, a slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. 
ask if they're alright. I mean, we already know they're not. Hmm. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved, anomaly they, Nada, Pola, watching us, tracking. Mistake, abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal, please don't trust. I'm afraid, aren't. I gotta, I gotta do the right thing and comfort him. The projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. God, that's dark. This thing is going to kill me as soon as I get out of this. I know it. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. I knew it. Contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. Hollow terminus detected. Let's set her down. Why is there always a firestorm or some kind of storm when I when I'm at this point in the game and I need to go use the hollow terminus? Why? Let's go do this. Hopefully before we die. All right, Apollo, let's do this. Warning, network compromised. Warning, manual override required. There is no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Perform manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Break, data stream overridden. What is this, dude? No. You are not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Ask who they are. Suggest death, death does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others. Say you don't know. What is, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Well, you guys know I always end my videos with be excellent to one another. So, suggest we improve the lives of others. And when they die too, what then of those improvements? What then of good and evil? Nothing remembered, nothing forgiven. I mean, fair point. If you know, traveler, I know where you've been, I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Uh, I'd say I need to know more, because that's the kind of person I am. A skeptic. Exactly. Well, Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? Another solid point. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc. A receptacle for their soul. Now we're talking. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. This game is so cool, <laughs> man. The stranger offers me blueprints for something called the Mind Arc. Advice they claim can restore, that will allow me to restore Artemis to life. We're on this ride together. Let's just do it. I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but there's a chance I can help Artemis. I will take it. New product formula. A soul engine? Oh my gosh. A living pearl. Cadmium. Return. We are deep right now. Soul engine. Metal plating. Living pearl. Blueprint recorded to catalog. 
All right, and young Artie is back. What up, son? Are you, are you, are you? Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Leave. Hyperdrive upgrade required to locate cadmium. Purchase starship upgrades from the space anomaly in space. Summon the anomaly with the quick menu X. But you know what? That is going to be where we drop it like it's hot for this episode. That was a f super fun episode. That might be the f most fun episode I've had so far. This story is mental. We're in a different system. I didn't expect that. But here we are, and thanks for coming along with me. That's going to wrap it up. Drop a like on this video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we're going to probably do some Jurassic World Evolution. Just check it out. Play with some dinos. Maybe, I mean, I'm definitely going to fail at that game and some dinosaurs are going to get eaten and I'm going to be sad. So you should probably stick around for that. Um, but as always, I've been Dan before time. You guys have been absolutely incredible. Thanks for sticking along with me for the 15 episodes. Um, and we'll be back soon with some No Man's Sky. You guys have, um, yeah, I already said that, but you guys are incredible. And uh, be excellent to one another. Peace out.